to Divine Lee Design Studio. For those that don't know, my name's Nicole Reed, and today we are back for another beginner's sewing tutorial. So today we are going to be making these cute little uh, needle books. So these are a great little scrapbusting idea. They're great for gifts for your friends. Um, I sell them in my uh, online shop as a little handmade item. So if you don't want to sew one up, we do have a ton available. And you can see here, they're great to just package up in a little cellophane um, package and pop a card in and you're good to go. So I like to use them for giveaways or for gifts for people and they take no time at all to make. Now, it, as I said, this is a beginner friendly one. It is also a scrap busting uh, tutorial as well. All right, so we have a couple of things that we need to get. We have some uh, felt that we need to have. We've got some snaps, so you're going to learn how to put that in. And we're going to use our pinking shears for around the outside so we don't have to turn it through or anything like that. All right, so you're going to, as I said, you're going to need a few items and I'm going to go through them now. All right, so the things that you're going to need are you're going to need your pinking shears, of course. You're going to need some pins. You're also going to need some thread snips. You're going to need a rotary cutter, a quilting ruler, and a cutting mat. You're also going to need a working sewing machine, and you're going to need your iron and your ironing pad. Uh, you're also going to need some cam snaps or plastic snaps, and you're going to need two um, that look like little drawing pins. So you need two of those, and then you're going to need a male part of it and a female part so they slip into one another okay you're also going to need some fabric so I've just pulled a piece out of my uh, scrap bin today and you're going to need some fusible fleece and you're also going to need some craft felt is perfect for this or some wool felt if you've got that as well all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set all this aside and then we're going to go through the measurements Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is you need to uh, turn your iron on and get your ironing pad out and we're going to do some cutting. So from the fusible fleece you're going to need a piece that is 8 inches in length along the long edge and 4.5 and inches in the, on the short edge and you're going to need exactly the same in your fabric that you've chose to use. Now I'm just using this fabric for the lining as well as for the outside, but you can have contrasting fabric if you want. And then from your felt, you're going to need to cut two pieces that are five inches by three inches. Okay, so I'm gonna cut them now. And I just use regular craft felt from um, your craft store. Anywhere that sells any sort of craft supplies, you will find that there. Okay, put our scraps out of the way. So along the long edge, it is 5 inches. And along the short edge, it is 3 inches. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place them together and grab a pin and pin it there. But I don't want the pin to be right on the edge, okay, because we're going to use the pinking shears to pink the edges. And grab another pin. A bit longer one. Okay, and then I'm just going to set that aside for a moment. As I said, I have put my iron on and I'm going to grab my ironing pad. Okay, so now I've got my ironing pad up here. I'll grab my iron. And I'm just going to get my pieces of fabric and get any creases that I might have out of those. Okay, and then I want to make sure that my iron is on a medium heat because I'm going to be using some fusible fleece. And I'm just going to pop that on to my ironing pad. And I want to have the bumpy side facing up. And then I'm just going to take one a piece of my fabric and I'm just going to place that on. Now, I'm not too concerned. This is sort of a directional fabric, but it sort of isn't a directional fabric. So I'm not too worried about how this is going on. I'm just going to lay that on there because you can see I've got hearts and scissors and yeah, there's a sewing machine that's upside down. I could possibly turn that around that way. It won't make a difference um, really. So 
it is just a little needle book and I'm not too concerned. I just want to use up some of my scraps. If I was selling this in my shop, I would probably be, I know I would be a little bit more um, worried about which way the fabric is going. But as I said, you can see here, this fabric, you could get away with it because it's not fully directional. All right, so we're going to just place that on top and then we're just going to start in the middle and press that on. Now you want to have your iron set to a medium heat because you don't want your fusible fleece to shrink up okay and i'm just going to leave that for a couple of seconds make sure that it, the glue cools a little bit i can see that it is actually adhering really well and i've got a couple of bits here where it's sticking out so i'm just going to grab my regular scissors and just trim that off right up to the edge of the fabric And essentially what that's going to do, it's going to make it super easy for the next step. See, I didn't have to take much of it. It was just a little bit. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is just move my iron out of the way. And then I'm going to grab my other piece and I'm going to lay my piece that has fusible fleece on top of that. And I'm just going to grab a couple of pins. I'm just going to pin that into place so it doesn't move on me. Now I don't want it to be the pins to be near the edge because um, I'm going to be stitching there. So I'm just putting them in a little ways and that's just going to stop the fabrics from moving. So you can see there I've got one piece on one side which has a fusible fleece and then this is now our lining. So what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, grab our sewing machine and a matching thread and we're going to stitch this into place. So when we head to the sewing machine, we're going to start here and we're going to sew all the way around. Now we're not going to do a back stitch at the beginning. We're going to do that at the end just to give this a little bit neater finish. And we have discussed this in past videos and I'll put the uh, playlist for the beginners uh, beginner sewing series down underneath this video so you can see where I've gone through other steps as well. All right, so I'm going to head over to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch that down. Okay, so here we are at the sewing machine. Basically, all I'm going to do is, it doesn't matter what side you start on, just start on any side that you want. And you're just going to come down a little bit from that corner and you're just going to get your fabric to line up on the edge of your presser foot here. We're not going to do a quarter inch. We're going to do a little bit more than a, a quarter inch. Okay, so we want to go right on the edge there. So you should be able to just see my fabric just poking out. All right, we're just going to put the needle in the down position because that always makes it easier to, if we need to stop to readjust, makes it so much easier to um, not have your, not have to worry about lining it up again. Okay, so we're just going to start stitching. And as we come down to the end, we are just going to stop with the needle in the down position more lift that needle up and we're just going to pivot okay we don't need to adjust our stitch length or anything like that uh, for this particular one I just have it set on my default which my default is approximately 2.5 millimeter So we're coming up to where we started so we don't want to go too far we just want to make sure that we line up all right that is about where i've lined up i'm going to lift the needle up and i'm going to pivot i need to go just one more stitch there we go okay and it's better to stop a little bit short and only go one stitch at a time you can even hand crank it if you need to then we're just going to stitch down to where we started we're going to go two or three stitches past and then we're going to do our back stitch. 
going to lift our needle up and we're going to pull that out. Okay, so you can see there that we've just come around to where we started. Okay, so just remove your pins. Okay, so you can see there that we've stitched that into place. Now what we're going to do is grab our pinking shears and all we're going to do is, without going into our stitches, we're going to get as close as we can without cutting into our stitches. Okay, so you can see there, I've got close to the stitches without cutting into them. I'm going to do that all the way around. Okay, so get rid of your rubbish. All right, so we've got that sorted. Now we're going to grab our felt and we are going to do the same thing. But this time what you're going to do is you're just going to get your pinking shears and you're just going to just take a little bit off. Okay. Just going right along that edge, like so. And because they're pinned together, they'll both be exactly the same. And I leave them pinned together until we're finished. And as you can see, I'm just taking a little bit off. It's not too much at all. All right, get rid of our rubbish and set that aside. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to attach these two pieces. So our fusible fleece is on our outside, so we want to put this on our lining. So what I do is I just fold this in half and I'll grab a pin and pop the centre bit in there and then the same at the bottom. Okay, and then I can open that back up and straighten it up if I need to. Okay. All right. The next step is to line this up. Okay. All right. So that looks to be about centered. You can measure it if you need to. But I just sort of eyeball it. Yep, it's about centre. So I've got about one and a quarter on each side. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop that pin from the top into the felt. So you can see there come in a bit closer for you so I've just taken where I've marked it and then I've just popped that pin through the felt like so and then down like that okay so I've grabbed my fiction pen and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line from one pin to the next and that's just going to be a sewing guide for me okay there we go and then we're going to head back over to the sewing machine and I'm just going to stitch from there to there Okay, so here we are at the sewing machine and basically what we're going to do is we're just going to slide that under and we're going to stitch on that line. Now, this is where you want to do a back stitch and then come down. And you can remove that pin as you come down closer to it so you're not stitching on it. And then you're going to stitch all the way down to the end and then you'll do a back stitch. And then we'll take that out okay so once you've stitched that down you can actually just take a, a thread snips and get rid of all your little threads and the next step is to actually put in our little um cam snaps 
Now, the one thing I forgot to mention at the beginning is you will actually need a setting tool for that. Okay, and all I do is I fold this over. Okay, making sure there's no creases in there at all. And then I will find the center point with my ruler. So I know that the center point will be two inches. And I come in and just eyeballing it, I come in a little way off the stitching because I don't want to go through that stitching. So I come in probably about a quarter of an inch away from the stitching. And then I find my two inch point and I just put a hole with my tailor's all right the way through. So I know that they're going to match up. Okay. And then all I'm going to do is grab my cam snap. And as you can see, we're just putting them in like so. So I get one of the pieces that look like a drawing pin and then one of the other pieces. And then using my um, setting tool, I put the outside of the Let's get that to hold in place. So this bit here will actually go into the black bit of the setting tool. And then that yellow bit will actually hold it in place. And then we squeeze it just gently. You don't want to squeeze too hard. And what happens is that center point of the outside bit gets crushed down. And that's what will help it hold in place. So that's now set. And then on the other side, we put... On the outside of our needle book we put that button bit and then we get our last remaining piece pop that in to the setting tool and we set it in place then we close up our needle book put our needles in if you've got some handy i always like to have a couple of pins in mine as well just so if i've got to pin anything together and the best part is it stops your hands from getting pricked when you're um, looking for something. All right, so that is it. That is our little needle book. As I said, these make perfect little gifts and you can use up your scraps and everything like that. And you've got uh, four pages in there to put your needles and pins in. And you can also um, have different pages for different sizes if you want to. You can put little labels on there. But as a basic needle book, that's what we have and I hope that you really enjoyed this little tutorial today. If you like this video today, don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below. Hit the subscribe button if you're new here and don't forget to ring that little bell so you get notified when I put up a video. Again, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate you taking the time and I will see you all again next time for another great sewing tutorial. Bye for now.